Hi guys, it is an absolutely miserable triple digit day in the drought baked oven of South Austin, Texas. We have made it to Tuesday, June 25th, 2013 and uh, I'm just going to blow through four quick little rantlets here on Tuesday. I think I'm going to start calling this my Tuesday rantlets. Uh, once again, I want to thank Pukaloo for calling my attention to a YouTube video. I'm going to put a link on it to for you to look at, which generally I recommend. This is a video called Noam Chomsky, What About the Future? What About the Future? Where Noam Chomsky tries to put himself in the mind of either an extraterrestrial looking down on what's going on on this planet today or a historian 100 years from now looking back to this year trying to figure out how we could have been so collectively head up our ass stupid that it, it, it is clearly obvious to a, 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 an ET or a future historian looking back that we are, are, are clearly a suicidal species just hell-bent and determined to take ourselves out as a species and although he doesn't mention it uh, assumedly every other earthling we share this planet with. This is about a 10 minute video with uh, my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero Noam Chomsky talking about this so uh, I, I, I applaud him and I encourage you to listen to this and pass it on but what I, my rant is about uh, is my broken record rant about probably in, in many ways the poster child planet eater that I love to hate on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and that is Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa who, who even Noam Chomsky is falling for this green washing horse shit of that little banana republic, well not banana republic, oil soaked republic uh, dictatorship uh, of, called Ecuador and the environmental policies of Rafael Correa. I don't know how many rants I've had about the, this little two-faced maggot and I don't need to go on to him again. It just, uh, anybody uh, from some dumb hippie on a rock to, to Noam Chomsky who wants to spend about one hour out of their life looking at the environmental record of Rafael Correa, that, that two-faced little, uh, little lying sack of shit. Uh, he is the poster child of planet eating. What, what Rafael Correa is unleashing in his own country as he sells off the, the Ecuadorian Amazon, well, perhaps the single most environmentally sensitive, biodiverse region on planet Earth. Uh, you're killing off the indigenous down there, declaring war on the indigenous uh, of, of Ecuador. Good God, what is going on down there in Ecuador as Noam Chomsky is cheering on the, 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 this little hypocrite and Noam Chomsky correctly comparing him to the Canadian government and their all-out sell-off of, uh, of the tar sands and everything else uh, in Canada and their sell-off to China. Uh, I assure you guys what is going on in the Ecuadorian Amazon directly 
under the leadership uh, of Rafael Correa in his head over somersault to sell out Ecuador to China is, is every bit, every bit is, uh, is horrific. Uh, as apocalyptic as what is going on in uh, the Alberta tar sands. It's the only difference being that what is going on in, in, in Ecuador is going on in a region of this planet a hell of a lot more uh, sensitive and biologically diverse than, uh, than Alberta, Canada. Uh, and, and this is not to detract at, uh, at all from the environmental atrocities going on on there in Canada. It, it, it's just to, uh, you know, it's just a damn wake-up call to, to Rafael Correa, and, and I would throw his little buddy, Bolivian president, Evo Morales, he's another P in this same pod, and, and not to forget the, the number one biggest planet eater of them all, the, the late uh, Cesar Chavez of Venezuela. Uh, even, uh, uh, what's his face, Noam Chomsky, like, just like, oh, you know, pointing out with a shrug of his shoulders that, uh, that the entire, the entire presidency of, uh, of Cesar Chavez was completely dictated by oil development in the Orinoco River Basin, which is just like the, the northern spur of the Amazon jungle. Uh, Cesar Chavez did as much, if not more, than any human being in history to rape, pillage, plunder his country uh, and, and again, one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on this planet to sell the oil to U.S. consumers. Make no mistake about this, uh, that, that Cesar Chavez directly responsible for pumping more CO2 gases into this atmosphere than any politician directly, directly in the pockets of big oil uh, of any politician on planet Earth. And, and, when you, and, and when you look at the population of Venezuela, uh, I would say per capita, per capita, uh, Cesar Chavez, person for person was the single most, the single most environmentally destructive planet eater in the history of this planet, although Rafael Correa is doing everything in his power to catch up to, uh, to Cesar, is it Cesar Chavez or Hugo Chavez? I'm getting Cesar mixed up. Oh, C no, Cesar is the good guy. I'm sorry. I'm not going to start this rant over. The, my brain is melting out here in this heat thanks to my buddy Hugo as much as anybody to his uh, policies. And uh, you better believe that Rafael Correa is doing everything he can, everything he can, to uh, raise the temperature of this planet, not counting that absolutely horseshit Yasuni keeping the oil in the ground. That, that, that this guy, some sort of goddamn planet saving hero because he's holding hostage a national park, a federally protected national park in Indian uh, Reserve that he has already cut in half. 
The, the guy is so full of shit. Guys, anyway, enough about Rafael Correa. The guy, you know, is borderline. He is beneath my contempt. Why do I keep talking about this idiot? Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up this little rantlet because I got three more of them coming if I can sit through three more of them on this, in this triple digit day for this rant. Bye, guys. Jesus Christ. Raphael Correa. Go to hell, Raphael Correa. You eat shit.